Athens 800 meters. Runner Stan Lange through the first turn, then break for the pole and the records. The world held by Wilson Kipketer from Denmark in 1997. And the American and the meet record, Johnny Gray. And Johnny Gray is here in New Orleans, running in lane number four. He turned 38 years old on Friday and is the most prolific 800-meter runner in history. Well, you know, it looks like Johnny Gray has been around forever. But the one thing you know is that he's been around forever at the front of the pack. He has, has five of the fastest times ever run by an American, and he has won six U.S. titles since 1985. But Mark Everett out in lane five has six U.S. titles of his own, and every time you think he's done, he has a bad year. He comes back and surprises you. He didn't make the Olympic team in 96, comes back and wins the indoor and outdoor nationals in 97, and gets a personal best. At 29, he's still got a lot of running ahead of him. So they flip-flop the lanes. Mark Everett is lane, in lane number four, and Johnny Gray is in lane number five. Johnny Gray in lane number five. Everett, rather, in lane number six. Excuse me. And we are set for the men's 800 meters. Well, the one thing about Mark Everett, you never know what kind of a race he's going to run. You're pretty sure that Johnny Gray will try to stay in near the front, but Everett can do it all. He can do it from the front, and because he has low 44-second 400 speed, he can do it from the back as well. Down the back stretch. You know, Johnny Gray is one of those runners who does not like to be touched, and that has been a problem early in his career. Whenever he's gotten bumped or jostled, which happens in a race like this, he has dropped straight to the back, the back of the pack. What he has done to alleviate that, he has done what he's doing right now. He gets out front. He is by far the strongest athlete in the event, and he knows he can run from the front. We go Johnny Gray, Trinity Gray, and Kadivas Robinson, the collegiate star out of TCU, one, two, and three. Uh, Johnny is dictating the pace. He doesn't want to take it out too fast. He can't go out and sub 50 anymore like he used to. And Mark Everett is next to last, just in front of Gabe Jennings, 50.56. It's a good, solid, honest pace. Don't worry about Mark Everett back there in the back of the pack. That's one of the tactics he does use. As you see, he is moving up on the outside right now. Johnny Gray extending his lead, four meters. Mark, Mark, Everett. Mark Everett now in second place. He's running a very smart race for once in his life. He made his move along that back stretch, and now he's in perfect position to strike if he sees Gray falter. Around the final turn, it's Johnny Gray, Mark Everett, Trinity Townsend. Now here's Everett coming on the outside, and he passes Johnny Gray. 50 meters to go. Everett sprinting towards the line. championship. Well, you know, you never know what to expect. We're sitting here shaking our head and we have a little giggle on our face. You never know what to expect from Mark Everett. Like you said, he's done it from the front. He's done it from behind. And I don't really think he really knows what his best tactic is. But obviously, the tactic he used today was the best one. This is one of the smartest races I've ever seen Mark Everett run. He stayed back. He didn't go through in about, what, maybe 51-5. Made his move just off the first turn of the second lap and then just sat there waiting for those 38-year-old legs of Johnny Gray to show a little bit of vulnerability. Then he just goes by him with 100 meters to go. Mark Everett doing the twist down the home stretch because of a broken arm he had back when he was a kid. He's never gotten rid of that twist that he has to the upper body. But I'll tell you something, seven national championships, you can't argue with. It. And Carol Dwight, here's a man that thought about hanging up his spikes after not making the 1996 Olympic team, but came back last year with renewed enthusiasm. And he's downstairs with Michelle Tafoya. All right, thanks very much, Mark Everett. What a great run. You waited until about the last 100 meters to make your move. Talk about your strategy. Well, always getting honored to God. Uh, Johnny Gray is a great competitor. We both said, well, you know, he's going to set the pace, take it out, and the whole idea was to go out and go one, two, which we did. Congratulations on that. And Johnny Gray, you were at the front right from the beginning and very early, but you felt him on your heels. What were you thinking? Well, um, actually, uh, I had to get some sharpness. I had to test myself today. And I did so, and I feel good about that. And I knew Mark would be there. I heard the breathing in back of me, and I knew it was Mark. The main thing I had to do when he passed me was go with him and not allow anyone else to pass me. The goal was accomplished, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful.
Nine years separate these two, but only seconds separated them on the track. Let's go back up to you, Gus. No question about it, Michelle. Not bad for a 38-year-old performer, Johnny Gray in second, but Mark Everett wins the national championship and Trinity Townsend in third. Coming up next, she's the queen of speed. Coming up later, rather, she's the queen of speed.